Not every program is for everyone. Mm -hmm. And many times students enter into a program not completely understanding what it is that they're going to be doing. And so consequently, you have some people that don't make it. Mm -hmm. What number or percentage of people in each of your class ends up leaving the program and not finishing it uh, for that reason? Um, that, and I say for that reason because there's always personal stuff that happens. Yes, Somebody yes. gets into a car wreck or mm -hmm. gets pregnant or any yeah. number of reasons to drop out. But how many people percentage-wise do you have people drop, uh, do you have drop out who simply find out it's not the kind of work they want to do or I don't feel like I can handle that kind of a, of a load? Actually, I would say less than 1% because before they come to the program, this interview process they go through. And we actually let them know this is a field. If you don't believe, believe in doing patient care, you don't waste, you know, don't waste the time because you're actually going to have hands on. And we start, let's face it, patient care means you have to start bathing, cleaning. When I mean cleaning, you know, patient incontinent himself. And if you can handle cleaning up somebody vomit or clean up somebody bowel movement, then you're not going to make it. So most, when a student come here, they actually have an idea what they get into. And also, you know, we have, um, you don't have to, but some of the student went to the PCT program. So in the PCT crew program, they have the nursing assistants. So if you can work as a nursing assistant, then you know you're going to, you know, be a nurse, and most have a student that's already CNA, that started continuing education, and they come over here, so they pretty much know what they're, you know, they're what they get into. So like I said, most of the time when they leave is because of personal issues, never because they said, oh, I can't do this, because they have an idea what they're coming in for. How many years have you been teaching this? I started LPN back in 2004. I started doing a nursing assistant course in 1996. So I did a nurse in 1996 till 2004. I did a PCT, nursing assistant PCT. Then I started LPN in 2004. Now you were, uh, I imagine, in the nursing uh, uh, profession yes, prior sir. to that. Yes, sir. What is your history? Well, I was a CNA. Started CNA first. Then I was married, have kids, wanted to continue my education. So actually I graduated from this program. I started this program in 1989. And then after I got to my LPN, I went to Chipola College and started my RN. My ex-husband was in the military, so I went to Texas, finished up, came back, went to Florida State for my bachelor's, and went to Phoenix for my master's. It's amazing. Uh, and, and even after several years of working with the, with the technical college, it's amazing how many instructors have that very same story. Mm -hmm. They went here originally, they went off and had, a, had their profession, and they came back here to, to teach. And in some cases, they didn't spend very long in the profession, came here, and they've been teaching here for, for a very long time. What's the best part of this job? Obviously, you love it. I, I see enough of what you do to know that you love what you do, and that's not unusual mm -hmm. when I see the instructors on this campus. Mm -hmm. What's the best part of, of, of teaching in general, but being part of this campus? I like just the family unit that we have here. And it's, you know, it really would you find a place that you have a job, you love your job, and you love coming to work, to work around the people that you're with. That's one thing I like about that. Now, where teaching is concerned, there's nothing more rewarding than when you see a student come in and say, this is something I always want to do, but I don't think I can do it. And I said, yes, you can. And I remember one young lady, and she said, Miss Morris, you see this face right here? And she went like this, she said, a year from now, I'm going to walk across that stage. You will see this face because I'm planning to grad because it's something I want to do. And she did. So that's more rewarding when you, they think they cannot do it and they're able to reach their goal and you see them out there working and they say, Miss Morris, I'm working. I see you and I just love it. When, you know, remember when they said, I don't think I could do it. Now they're working. I see you and they tell me all the things they're doing. So that's so rewarding. You know, you... The knowledge I receive, I'm able to pass it on. And then I go there sometime, and they tell me, Miss Morris, this is what I'm doing. I say, okay, wow, I never, I've never done that. Talk me through that. Miss Morris, I said, go ahead. And it's like, oh, Miss Morris, I'm teaching you something. And I say, yes, that's how, that's how the world works, you know? <laughs> Many times the story we get from instructors mm -hmm. here on this campus mm -hmm. especially is that their extended family keeps growing. Yes. These students come back. They have become literally, through that year, they've been forged yes. as a family, as a class, and then obviously you and your staff get to enjoy that family yes, family sir. unit, as yes, you sir. just pointed out. 
Do you find that to be true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because as a matter of fact, since I've been teaching this, I'm going to say I've taught mother, daughter, son, cousins, I mean, the whole family. It's a family unit. We just, just love it. What's the most challenging part of your job? Yes, I don't have, I don't have say, one specific challenge. Every time you get a new class, it's always a challenge because you're dealing with so many different personalities. And then when, but if they come here with a mind concept to say, I want to become a nurse, then we're here to teach you and make you be all you can be as a nurse. And then, but you have to have the right mind concept to say, I'm here a nurse, and there's no job in a nursing field too small for me to do. You know, that's it. You have to want to have a love for nursing and know I can hand to the bedpan to stick in to draw blood or whatever, you know. Don't think, well, that, I can't do that because it's a CNA work. There's no such thing as a CNA work. It's nursing, and nursing covers everything. So if you come with a, have that type of attitude and you want to become a nurse, this is a place for you. But if you think that there's, um, that's beneath me, that CNA work, that's not going to be the place for you because this is a nursing. We're here to teach nursing, and nursing is the overall patient. And that's what it is. Thanks for taking the time today. Mm -hmm. More importantly, thanks for all that you do. Thanks to you and your staff, and I hope that over time we're able to talk to some of your other staff. Mm -hmm. I know that we're gonna to talk to one of your students today as well. But thank you so much for what you do. I think many times we know we need nurses, we know we have nurses, but they don't know where they come from. Mm -hmm. And it takes an awful lot of work on the instructor side and the student side yes, to make all that happen. So for what it's worth from me uh, and from our program staff, thank you. Uh, and, and again, thanks for taking the time today. Well, thank you, sir. We've enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully you've learned something. The nursing program here at Florida Panhandle Technical College, very exciting. There are a couple of different uh, programs that you can take, depending on what your desires are for employment. Mm -hmm. uh, as Ms. Morris points out, 100% uh, employment coming out of here in well-paid jobs. Well-paid for this area, but just well-paid jobs. Um, and uh, if you'd like to find out more about uh, Florida Panhandle Technical College and the over 35 degree and certification programs, you can go to the website, fptc.edu. You can stop right here on Hoyt Street in downtown Chipley, Florida. Stop in the student services. Start asking some questions. Just recently, we spoke to one of the students that was just getting ready to graduate, and she told us that she came in and interviewed mm -hmm. the instructors. She didn't know what she wanted to do, so she traveled around the campus yes. and she picked out several of the courses that she thought she was in. And she's, the way she put it, she interviewed them yes. and said, why should I be a student in your class? And I said, good for you, because yes. uh -huh. there's got to be that buy-in on both yes. sides. Yes, you know, we have students that actually you know, come back and said, um, you know, I love this because you all actually took time with us. You, you all want us to learn. We feel that you all want us to learn. You all are working harder to push us than we work themselves because we, like, you know, we feel like you really care about our learning. So we, you know, and that's what they're looking for because sometimes they really don't know exactly, especially young ones, they really don't know exactly what they want to do. So when they have something behind them who believe in them and pushing them, then that's one of the rewarding things you have. That says it all. We'll be right back.